What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be giving you a free outro template. So, you can go and take a look at it right now. Oh crap, I forgot what time I started. I think it was 8. Cool. Okay, I think I'll stop there and the winner is... So, hopefully you like it. And yeah, let's get into it. You will have this here. And just right click it, click WinRAR and click Extract here. If you don't have WinRAR, there will be a link to a video in the description which will show you how to get it. So just click Extract here. Just, I'm just going to press yes to all because I've already got the folder here but yours will go yours won't pop up saying that okay so then you should have this folder open it up it says official okay so you see we've got Sony Vegas Photoshop music images now if you don't have Photoshop it does not matter you do not need Photoshop for this you'll see why in a bit so just go ahead and open up the outro template some people may get confused with this so make sure you listen carefully hopefully if you used Vegas uh, quite a long time you'll be able to get through this pretty simple so you can see I edited this in Sony Vegas Pro 12 meaning it will work in 13 and 11 so while Sony Vegas loads I'll tell you why you don't need Photoshop so let's get to it here it is this is what the original looks like with Photoshop. All that there. And you would need Photoshop to change the images and the text here and there as well. But I created another one called Outro Template 2. So you got a free space at the bottom here so you can put your YouTube URL maybe. And that stuff can just stay the same because you don't really need to change that. Okay, Sony Vegas has opened. Now we have to wait for the project file to load. Okay, if you get this, so you can see what it's asking for here, which is the music. Press the second one here. Okay. Then, so we go back to the desktop where you save the folder. The folder is called outro, so go to the outro folder, go to official, go to music, then just double click this. And it's also asking for something else, so we'll just press ignore on that. There we go. So, people might be a bit confused with this, what it actually is. So I'm going to run through it once this last video loads. Okay, so to edit it, you can see at the top here of what do not touch, so you do not move or edit anything of these two images. We've got a screenshot of the second vid, a screenshot of the first vid. Uh, if we scroll down, this would be another video, but I've deleted the video so it's not here. The music, and then there's the background from the start. So, this is how it works. You drag your image in, well, you drag, yeah, you drag the image in, which is this one here or if you don't have Photoshop it will be this one here you drag that in and that will be placed at the bottom here and then after that if we just scroll up your first video will begin playing here so this is where the first video will be actually I'm just gonna go and get this video and I'll be back to you when I got it okay so I've got the video back here it is so, the first video, you drag it in here, and you make sure it stops there. So, after that, what you do, go to the end of your video, go back one keyframe by pressing this here, and take a screenshot by pressing that. Then, once that has saved, it should save to your desktop, or it will be in your project media here. The one you screenshotted, you just go ahead and drag it right onto this part here. So then, once you've dragged it here, it will come up to this as well. But, 
you might be wondering the blur on it so the blur what you do you click on the file the screenshot file you just dragged in click the event pattern crop you can see I've masked it out now the way I've done this so I'll press the event pattern crop I'll press mask and then I'll press the rectangle here and I just went over it like that then after that you can see I've made it blurred out on that specific area I went to video effects and I put the they put this blur on it and it is a light blur put it onto this so now you should get the idea of it then this is where your second video also starts as well when this blurs out so there we go it starts there you can see I put the marker where it should start and it will end there as well your video has six seconds to be played so you can see well this one's got quite a long time but yeah you can see and yeah then it ends back to here now how have I done this part here well it's the exact same again if you just go to the end of the video and take another snapshot drag and drop it here then you can see underneath we've got the one without the masked part on so the top one has the masking on here and that top one is where you drag the light blur on okay so that is basically it and then you can see the music ends there you can choose your own music it's up to you you don't even have to have music you can just have whatever you want but yeah hopefully you guys have followed this I'll try to explain it the best I can I know it could it can be a bit confusing while I was making this I got a bit confused myself so just take your time you will get it done if you need any help or extra help you can always add me on skype which is casual savage you can like my facebook page and message me on that send me screenshots if you would like to do that you could uh, ask me on twitter at casual savage so i can help you on that i can literally help you wherever you want so yeah hope you like the outro and hopefully more coming soon been casual savage here hope you like this video please subscribe rate and peace <laughs>